Welcome back to Passionately Catholic. I'm Anthony Digman, and together we are falling more in love with God, enriching our prayer life, and growing in virtue as we explore one of the greatest spiritual classics of all time, Introduction to the Devout Life by St. Francis de Sales. Today is Part 2, Chapter 5, titled Considerations, the Second Part of Meditation. Be sure to find the link in the description below to get your free copy of this book, as well as join our Passionately Catholic Facebook group and sign up for emails directly from me with each video of this series in sequential order. Remember, the more views, likes, and subscribers each video receives, the more YouTube will share this spiritual masterpiece with others so you can help evangelize with us. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Praise be to you, God, as we come before you in our brokenness and sorrow for our sin. We thank you for your unconditional love and mercy. Please grant the prayers we offer today, and in all things, thy will be done. Come, Holy Spirit, and St. Francis de Sales, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Chapter 5. After this exercise of the imagination, so what was that? Yesterday, he talked about how we imagine certain things in our meditations, that this can be a helpful tool. So, for example, we might imagine ourselves being uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. John and Mary Magdalene at the cross of Jesus if we're meditating on the Passion. So, picturing ourselves in those scenarios, using our imagination when possible. It's not always possible, but so he continues here. After this exercise of the imagination, we come to that of the understanding. For meditations, properly so called, are certain considerations by which we raise the affections to God and heavenly things. Now, meditation differs therein from study and ordinary methods of thought which have not the love of God or growth of holiness for their object, but some other end such as the acquisition of learning or power of argument. So when you have, as I said, limited the efforts of your mind within due bounds, whether by the imagination, if the subject be material, or by propositions, if it be a spiritual subject, you will begin to form reflections or considerations after the pattern of the meditations I have already sketched for you. And if your mind finds sufficient matter light and fruit wherein to rest in any one consideration, dwell upon it, even as the bee which hovers over one flower so long as it affords honey. But if you do not find wherewith to feed your mind after a certain reasonable effort, then go on to another consideration. Only be quiet and simple, and do not be eager or hurried." So, what's he getting at here? When we're engaging in meditation, say, for example, we're doing Lexio Divina and we're using sacred scripture, or we're reading from the lives of one of the saints, or we're doing considerations based on a meditation from Introduction to the Devout Life, for example. If we're doing that, then as we're going through, we might take our time. We might go slow. We might, as we work through a particular sentence, pause. We might look at that sentence. We might draw out some spiritual fruits. We may not get very much from that sentence, And then he says, move on, move on to the next sentence or the next thought or the next idea. But he says, if we are getting some good spiritual fruit from that meditation, from that sentence, or maybe we're doing the Stations of the Cross or whatever it may be, if we're getting some good spiritual fruit from it, stay there. Stay there like the bee who stays at the same flower, collecting whatever it can from that flower before it moves on. It's a really beautiful way to approach that, I think. Remember to spend at least 10 minutes today in silent prayer with God. And special thanks to all of our patrons who made this episode and all that we do at Passionately Catholic possible. Find the link below to visit our Patreon page and discover all the benefits of supporting Passionately Catholic as well. Chapter 5 here was a super short meditation. Chapter 6 coming up is also not a super long one. So we'll enjoy these shorter ones. So we got to make sure that we take that extra time for prayer and meditation. So if you've got an extra five minutes right now that you didn't expect to have, take that opportunity to really engage in prayer and connect with God. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Make it a great day. God bless you, and I look forward to joining you again in the next episode.